All right, this is the new system. Once you first power it on and make it through all the setup, um, you will either end up <clears throat> at this TV source or another source. Go ahead and push the home button on the remote. And this is the new screen. So, you've got your player, which you can actually tell it um, network channel, local channel, or the templates. And you can actually just choose files from here if you went show to direct file. Let's go back and go into the schedule. Here's where you can actually create a schedule, a local schedule. So, channel one, two, three, four, etc., would be if you did say eight to eleven, you'd make channel one eight to eleven. You can make channel two, you know, then eleven to two, so forth and so forth. Or you could set them all day for each of those. So if we did channel one all day, and I've already set these up, but I'll show you here. Click on that. Here's where you tell it the content you want to add to this. So these four files have already added. You can click enter on them to delete them. Or you can go down here and change the duration time. Or you can come over here and add another file. That brings up uh, the USB that's plugged in. And you can actually sort up here at the top, um, internal USB or you can sort the content, video images, um, and so forth. So, find the content you want. Here's my glance file. And here's the content. It already pulls up these thumbnails. Um, you can easily just select another file. Just click it, and it puts it in uh, the numerical order. Now, I've not found out how you can switch the numerical order, so make sure you choose them in order when you first select them. Okay. You can tell the start time, start to finish, or you can just click all day, it represents all day. You can actually change the channel name, I've just named mine test. And you can change where it stores. Okay, you save that. Now channel one represents all day. Over to the right, it it's, uh, tells when it's playing and what contents. I did the same thing with two, three, four, and then it'll, it'll let me do a fifth one, and so forth and so forth. So now you've created your schedule, you can go right into the player. Come down to the middle part, which is local channel, okay, and choose that. So now it's playing. Now, if you remember, we made multiple channels. I can actually click on the remote, this button here, which you can't really see. It's called channel list, and I can switch my local schedule channel um, right here. So I selected it. I chose it to one. I was going to go to the first playlist. Okay, now you've got, uh, just like we did before, you've got the template manager. Uh, it's a lot more robust now. Um, there's 64 in landscape, and then you can actually go up at the top, and you can tell it portrait, which I believe there's 55 in portrait. And you can actually select it by market if you wanted to. Works pretty much the exact same way it used to. Um, at the end, there's, uh, there's blank templates, which they just call wires. There we go which are not already pre-populated, so you can choose those and populate them yourself. Let's just choose one here. Let's go back up to landscape. Okay. Um, they actually did a really nice job on these. I like the new layouts. So let's choose one. Okay. And now it's got the editable boxes, uh, just like it did before. Select the box. You can tell what content you want by clicking there. you got your duration options. And honestly, I'm not sure what hide element means. I haven't figured that out yet. Edit the text, edit the text. Same thing as before. You got your preview button and your save button. You can change background screen and background music. One last quick thing I want to show you here before we run out of time. Uh, these are just settings at the bottom. They're just quick settings. Um, one new one is the sticker. You can actually have a ticker at the bottom. Okay, I already 
pre-programmed yet. I just put this as a test. Um, you can set the start and end time, uh, the font color options, opacity. You can even make it flash, and then the position, um, and then scroll on or off. Here's a little preview here, and you can make your own little text ticker at the bottom. Pretty neat. Stay tuned.